Hey guys, back to another YouTube video. Today it's going to be uh, showing a video. Got some new items from the flea market. Got some new items off eBay. And I got a few updates on some few projects. And I got some new items from a pawn shop. Didn't get much, but I got enough to do a video. So the first thing I'll start off with is my updates. This is the Bowie knife I was working on. All complete. Ready to go. And sharp as a barber's razor. I love how this thing turned out. Go show what you can make out of stuff you can find at the local dump. And I'm debating whether or not to put this for sale or not. I mean, I might put it for sale if I can get the right price for it. So there's that. Next is I put together another one of these. These silver plated handled knives. Again, from an old butter knife. This is an old piece of carbon steel that I had lying around. No name, no brand. So figured it would make a nice little knife. Made a guard out of aluminum and polished the whole thing up. Beautiful. Next is on my eBay finds. I have a 110 light and a 112. Let me get my buck chart real quick because I forgot to get it. There we go. Okay, here we go. The 110 is from 2017. And the 112 is from 2018. So these things are roughly a year apart. Brand new, unused. Well, I wouldn't say unused, but... As new as you can get it. Was out, was searching through eBay and I found a guy who was selling these. $40 for the pair plus an additional $5 shipping. So it was well worth it. And I already had my father order me a couple of sheets. In exchange I'll pay him for it because he, ha he has a discount with Buck. So there's that. And I'm going to put the sheets with these and they're going to go straight into my collection. Beautiful knives. I did not have one like this. This 112. And if this one wasn't the only one I would have, this one I would probably carry. Because I love this design. It's definitely a beautiful knife. So basically $22 and some change. Well worth it. Because once I put the sheets with them and sharpen this one up a little bit, they're going to go straight into my collection. Who knows? Maybe 20 years from now, it might be worth a heck of a lot more. There's that. Next is on my pawn shop finds. Didn't find much. Found this beautiful homemade fixed blade. Don't know who made it. There's no markings. It's clearly homemade. Because nothing on it is perfect. I mean, it's a functioning knife, but it's not perfect by no means. But whoever made it at least knew what they were doing. I'm going to clean the blade up, polish it up, make it look a lot nicer. This one's going in my collection as well. I've already added this groove right here just to make it look a little nicer. Next, I found this beautiful Imperial Ireland lockback. This one I'm going to put for sale once I clean it up. It needs some cleaning. There's a little bit of rust on it. It needs to be repolished and sharpened. And then this one will be going for sale. And I will put a link to my eBay page in the bottom of the description of this video. Now, just because I say I'm going to put these for sale does not mean as soon as this video comes out, all the ones I'm going to say are for sale are going to be on eBay. It may be a few days before I can get them on eBay just to be advised. There's that. Uh, next is my flea market finds. And first things first is I found this beautiful 1970s Remington butcher knife. Or chef's knife. Basically same thing. It says Remington DuPont right on the handle. And this one I'm going to put for sale as well. I'm going to polish up the blade, make it look a little nicer. And then she is going for sale. Beautiful old knife. Uh, next is a German bread knife. I think this is what this is called. And I haven't decided on this one yet. I bought these two with the intent on stealing the blades off of them and turning them into friction folders. I haven't decided yet. I might see, look up this brand on this German knife and see what it's going for. If it's not going for very much, I'll just take it and customize it. There's that. Next is just this, uh, yeah, Japanese knife. Japanese kitchen knife. Again, same thing. I bought it with the intent to turn it into a friction folder. So there's that. Next is these beauties I was able to find. They are both case fillet knives. In really good shape. Let me get the logo in there for you guys. There you go. The small one is a model 21216 1.5 FSS. Beautiful knife. This one has the original sheath. This one does not, sadly. 
And here is the other one. The model number on this one is a 2129 FS, a lot larger model. Those who know me know I'm not much of a case fan, so these will be going on my eBay page. I'm going to shine them up a little bit, sharpen them up, make them look a lot nicer, and then they'll go on eBay. Sadly, this one doesn't have the original sheath because it didn't have a sheath when I bought it, and I have to put one with it so that way it doesn't puncture through the package once it gets shipped. So there's that. Alrighty, guys, that's all the stuff I've got. Again, all this stuff that I said that I'll be putting for sale, they'll be on my eBay profile. And again, I'll put my link to my eBay profile in the description of this video. But again, be advised, just because I say I'm going to put it for sale does not mean as soon as this video is uploaded, it'll automatically be on eBay. You want to check out what I currently have for sale? By all means, go on ahead. But it doesn't mean you'll see any of these items on there because they still need to be cleaned up and, you know, prepared to be put for sale. So hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, stay sharp. And keep collecting.